an historic artillery fort on the River Thames. Over 200 years of military history and reports of paranormal activity. There is, there is the only people in this section of the tunnel who checks every single group. There is no, nobody there. Well, was, we we're walking up here and there's two men dragging. Join the spiral team as we investigate the historic New Tavern Fort. Dating from only the 18th and 19th centuries, New Tavern Fort is a historic artillery fort in Gravesend, on the banks of the River Thames. Originally built to guard the River Thames against French and Spanish raiders, the fort was rebuilt in the mid-19th century. By the start of the 20th century, Thames defences have moved further downriver to the estuary and the fort was disarmed, although it was reused as a military base during World War II. Incorporated into the fort and used as barracks, Milton Chantry's chapel is the last surviving part of a medieval hospital once situated on the site. Much paranormal activity has been reported here over the years, from dark figures and apparitions witnessed in the tunnels and children heard in the chantry so an opportunity for us to investigate here could not be missed. Joining me on this investigation is Al, Mandy, Sean and Joanne as we board the van and head off to Kent. So where are we going guys? We are Gravesend going. Fort. Gravesend Fort, which is actually called, the, um, it's actually got its own individual name, isn't it, the fort? Uh, the New Tavern Fort. New Tavern Fort, uh, just south of the Thames Estuary. Uh, the Tilbury Docks. We're joined by uh, Mandy and Al as usual. Um, and we've also got, what's your name? Sean and... We've got Sean, Sean and, Joanne. and Joanne in the background. Uh, dear dear friends of ours, dear friends of ours. Um, we look, we're filming a little bit differently today. We're going to do a little bit more, um, make it a bit more raw. So, uh, looking forward to it. Al's driving, we've got the mystery machine. We are joined by Fort volunteers, including Cheryl Taylor, a psychic in her own right, for exclusive access to this historic location. There's some rooms around here. We can look at. How are you finding it so far, guys? This is Great. awesome. Fantastic. What a beautiful site. Fantastic. This is Gravesend Fort, and there was another two down there on that bend. One opposite in Essex, and one in Kent, and they were the Thames defence. an amazing place. I'm going to have a little walk around in a minute um, and see what Mandy comes out with and then we'll hopefully cross-reference that with people who work here. Uh, also there's another psychic so yeah, it's interesting. Okay we're going into the tunnel for a little walk round. Welcome to the 1800s. Wow. You'll probably jump oh, from it. I'll say it when it's real. Okay. Say it when it's real. I can't do scripts. Mandy's shy about saying charged. <laughs> <laughs> charged? But if a drink was charged, <laughs> what do you find? Yes. It's great. Yes, really. Well, fantastic. The word we've got is charged. Charged. Charged, charged yes. Yeah. Charged. I think charged. Charged. And that's not us. There's definitely an atmosphere yeah. here, isn't there? I don't know because I've been here so many times, but I'm still sceptical anyway. Mm. Yeah, of course, that's our problem. I mean, people who, people who follow us know that we're a real rational group. We don't yeah. do any hill thrill seeking. It's not about that. It's just fine. It's good to have two new people as well because yeah. they haven't obviously been with us. Well, Sean is Herne the Hunter, so he should have sort of. A... <laughs> I feel very calm in here. And Zena's a sort of fantasy yeah. figure. So. I do, actually. Wow. Uh, I mean, how, how do you feel? What, what, how well, do you feel? In this, in this yeah. corner. It's really, 
<laughs> just go for it, honestly. Like, like, there's, like, like there's pressure on my chest. And when I step away, it's gone. I have another word for you. The word is cloying. Cloy, what cloying? Cloying. I think Certainly. it means... Not clammy. Foreboding. Not clammy, our like old... Clo- like, when something is closing in. When you feel, not claustrophobic. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. But just... Me and my mate Tyler, we both work here on Sundays, you know, volunteering that, whatever. Uh, and originally, before we cleared it all out, this room used to be uh, storage for the Cold War bunker that we've got as well. And uh, obviously, I'm supposedly a sort of weapons technician here, uh, helping out, cleaning up all guns and that sort of stuff. We had an AK 47 and uh, an SLR assault rifle. They were uh, down there just behind where you're standing. And I anyway, figured out they were here. Me and my mate Tyler come up, we have one each, just to, sort of checking them over. And we had footsteps coming up. So we figured, you know what? They're completely deactivated, we might as well just have a laugh and, you know, jump out on someone. So the footsteps got to right outside there and they were hobnail boots, and obviously hobnail boots on concrete in a ton. You know, you're not going to hear them just they run away or whatever. Um, Anyway, they got to about there, and Tyler and I swung out and we were looking right down the hallway. And there was no, nobody there. There was, there was the only people in this section of the tunnel. We checked every single room, we checked the entrance, we checked, we even checked the entrance to the other tunnels, and we were the only ones in. I do not like standing around there at all. I feel like I want to run off. Standing here. Well, Sean's here, I'm not surprised you want to run off. <laughs> it's probably, maybe it is a psychological thing, um, I don't know, but you stand there and look that way and you, you just want to go. Is there any point that specifically the women feel they can't come past in this time? I don't like it. That's always been blocked in your name. What, because you're a woman? I don't know, maybe. I just feel like I'm being told to get out. <laughs> And I know how much you hate that get out. Get out. It's not like that. Get out. Get out now. It's just like... You shouldn't be here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I'm... You know like when you're hiding behind the bike shed at school? Yeah. You feel like that? Okay. At a certain point down there, I can even show you guys exactly where it is. But we only get women come so far. And then just like you were saying, they kind of get this authoritative figure that goes around with that one. And it's only women that get told that. Oh, so I'm not, you know... It's someone that used to work down here and he's following protocol or whatever, I don't know, but mm. it's funny you say that because you're not the first. Well, now I'm getting it. Now I'm getting that. I've got a very heavy head down here. Backwards. No, no, I'm getting that. Well, don't be here. Is this the new Al Biddington? Usually you'd be like, ah, oh, well, the... <laughs> okay. She's any good for filming or... Yeah, yeah, that matches the mask. We know that. Yeah, Fascinating place to explore. And if we get some paranormal stories to go with it, big bonus. Look at these two tykes. Anything? Got pressure on my chest again. And this is the ibuprofen your lady gave me. <laughs> Probably. Okay, we're going down this corridor now. Oh, oh, that's groovy. That's pretty cool. Oh, uh, there's spider What is it? Oh, is that a... Oh, my gosh. Wow. Oh, moldy spider dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right with spiders. Hey, I'm all right with spiders. Owls can do one. Spiders are all right. It's all right. Oh. Were this all built at the same time? I saw it was built for 18th and 19th centuries. This is very much like Coal House Fort, this tunnel. Yeah, but this is the lighting uh, tunnel. Right. So these, the, the lights would have been lit behind here. Do you remember I told you at um, Whitley? Yes. This is one of the first forts that I've been to where you can really, really feel the atmosphere. Really? really? I've got to say, Mandy, and this is very unusual for me. I've got to admit, you're, I, I feel that too. Yeah, you're right. And we don't do hype. No. Sorry, guys, we don't do hype, but here is a... Bit of a charged atmosphere here. Really? Yeah. It's, it's almost like if you were that way inclined, it would be really, really easy to just see it all happening like it's on repeat. Yeah. Like you would just be able to open a curtain and okay. go back 200 years or however long it is and see them all just going about and doing their doing stuff. Doing thing, yeah. That's interesting. This is 
great. It's fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you. We walk ever deeper into the tunnels of the fort. Oh, it goes back to Arthur. He's going back to the. Um... Last time I was here, everyone went in there and I was stood here. And I could feel myself doing that. Really? Yeah. Sure, just out of curiosity, how are you finding it? So, how are you finding it for first? Uh, I mean, we're, doing, we're not really doing a full on investigation. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, interesting, and I feel very relaxed. And it's probably in present company and a fantastic building. Oh, yeah, and the staff here have been fantastic. But, uh, yeah, it's, this is new, a new thing for me to do, and it's, it's great so far. Interesting. It's good to be on board. It's good to have your buddies here as well. <laughs> Leaving the tunnels, we explore the chapel along with Cheryl, the last surviving part of a medieval hospital that was incorporated into the fort. We go upstairs. Should we go upstairs? Help. Okay. Don't mind being here. That one. Quick look. This room up here is rather amazing. Yeah. 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 Oh, absolutely. Oh, look at that. That's gorgeous. Original roof. Yeah, beautiful. That lovely musky smell you get. Yes. Yeah. And uh, the original fireplace. Oh wow! Yeah. It's a crown. Amazing. And this is our good thing about it. you know you get exclusive access to these places. I know. Public was coming. Really kind yeah. for us to, to look. Yeah. yeah. I don't even know if they're related, but I'm, there's like a, a boy about ten ish. And then there's a really, really skinny man with white hair. Although there's lots, it feels like there's loads of people downstairs. But that's separate. It's all, there's like loads and loads and loads of different layers of different Yeah, it's all layers, layers isn't it? Yeah. But I think who's been tapping me might be the boy. I feel like he's really close. Here. It's about that big. Come on, mate. Come on through. That's but, boy. Where's he coming from? Have you never... It was a hospital as well. Oh. Um, and this is where, one of the areas where they've had the beds and the sick bays as well. So I'm not surprised you've picked up on not feeling well. I often feel very dizzy and if I'm being rocked I feel in sweating, here... sweating. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel as if I'm swaying. Normally I'm quite steadfast on my feet. the tall skinny man? Because the moment we pulled up, yeah. that was the first thing that hit me. As soon as we got out of that van, yeah. the tall skinny man in black clothes with really white hair. Yeah. I would like to, if you don't mind, take you to an area outside to see if you pick up on anything. Okay. If that's okay. I'd be, yeah, that'd be interesting. That Thank boy, you. It was that boy poking me in the back. It was. I'm not surprised. We've had, we, as I say, we've had reports of... Lots of children in here as well, so. Following Cheryl's invitation, we go outside to see if Mandy can pick up on events that Cheryl had previously sensed on other occasions. Yes, yeah, so I say, I argued this for months and months and months. And I went into the room because it intrigued me so much. Take you round to see the hay. Because I saw two men. Yeah dragging what I thought was a Hessian bag but when I looked looked again it was under they had him so if, you know if you were to stand there you'd have him under and they dragged him over to there okay so when I went in the room what I saw was even worse I saw the act of them beating him and I don't think it was such a beating that I don't think he would survived it and then do you always hear what I think it was Yes, because um, I can't get past that bit. It was a German spy. Okay. And when I said there was no, there was, you know, it was a German spy, and they said it might have something to do with the aerials that were here. Okay. There was some sort of aerial, wasn't there, here. Yeah. And he, well, he tampered with he it. He tampered with it. Now, when we went into the tunnels, which is why I didn't say anything to you before, we got him, we picked, I picked up on him, and he admitted that he did it. Wow. And there was a lady here that tried to get him to move on. Now I was told, no, 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 there was never anything like that here. Because oh, I saw it. And then it, was, and then it was witnessed. I told you, Alan, didn't I? 
um, you've just said exactly the same as I did. She could see exactly the same as me and has oh. said it virtually word for word. That's fantastic. That's what I'm always after. Yeah. That's what I'm always said after. It, said it word it's for horrible word. horrible though. It's not very not really all oh, right. It, but I, don't, I can I don't see why they did it, but it was a little bit too brutal, was it not? I don't think they had a choice, if no. I'm honest. Um, but it was the when I went in there because I said to Will and Will unlocked it for me, and then I could actually see him what had happened to him, which was I could even smell blood. Mm. That's the Germans. Yeah. Spy. yeah. Yeah. But then we was told that 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 couldn't have happened because there's no Germans. But then you, your uh, yeah. to back up the story this. It's still covered under the Official Secrets Act. There's one room in the magazines you may have seen. It's the only room with a glass door and a small office. And that's believed to be the radio room, because directly above it will be the top of that hill over there. Yeah. Okay. It's where that, where that gun now oh, sits yeah. there. Yeah. It's the base of what was the aerial mark. You have just said exactly and We've got photographs with an aerial 50 foot up in the air. Wow. So this was definitely used as, a, as a, some sort of radio station. And to back up that story, my uncle was 87, and he remembers seeing German prisoners of war held in here when he was a young boy. Mm. And everyone had told me that that had never happened, mm. so I'm like, no, I, I can't change so what, what I, I saw. saw. Yeah. Was we're walking up here, and there's two men dragging. Mm. You when did you? When did you? A bag. When, when did you feel that? Just, Just literally now. as yeah. we were walking we up the room? here. Yeah. Hello, Paul. He wouldn't, he wouldn't have survived the beating. Right. But they beat him, they crap out of him, and he, they, they knew that they were justified in doing what they were doing, but the, whoever it was in there said, it wasn't me, it wasn't me, it wasn't me, I didn't do it, I didn't do it, I didn't do it. But he did do it. Oh, right. 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 Do you want to have a look in? Do you can see why it's called the wet room. Yes. <laughs> Careful on the floor. Oh, yeah. It's slippery. Look, it is slippery. Well, let me go in first and shine the light because we'll just have a look at That's a really nice touch. Mm. I love my things on the middle. Okay, thanks. Thank you. My heart is pounding. Oh, my, I can feel my pulse. <laughs> We seem to go in stages where it's my breath again. Um, I saw him being dragged first. Then they give you a little bit more. And then it was um, we come in and then I could see that and then we put it together. And I I don't know because there used to be what they called the dead house where the bandstand was, which was the local morgue sort of thing. I don't know if it was still there then, but that's the direction they dragged him to because I lost it went. After so after so long, and then we came in here, and that's when I saw that, and it disturbed me for about a week. I wasn't, and then I'm not surprised. Yeah, it was, it was quite horrendous. Yeah. And then when we went into the <coughs> tunnels, that's when the lady said um, about the German that she wanted yeah, to speak to me, and then she said he wants to know he did do it. He did so, do it. Yeah. So it tied in over a period of months. Mm. It wasn't just like wham, it was like a, almost like a jigsaw puzzle, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. While we processed this information, Al took Mandy back into Milton Chantry for one last look around, with Mandy sensing the building's previous occupation. The smell of disinfectant in here, can you smell it? Eh? Smell of disinfectant on or... Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm actually I... drawing on you, loves it, yeah. People are, people are being washed, is what I'm getting. People are being washed. By other people. Yeah. It's all a bit oh, kinky. Yeah, no, but yeah. <laughs> like uh, hosed and scrubbed <laughs> and <laughs> de-loused. <laughs> so you're getting in. <laughs> it's actually quite funny and it's like they're having quite a nice time about it. It's like a bit of a big joke, but yeah. But yeah, that smells like disinfectant <laughs> smell. And ill people, but I don't think they were here at the same time. I don't think the washing people and the sick people were here together. <laughs> yeah, there was sad sick people. Sad sick people. <laughs>
uh, people hospital type feeling about this room. There you go. Hospital ward. Decontamination centre. With the evening drawing to a close, the team reflect on their visit here. Have you found it, Sean? Yeah, enjoy something. Great. Yeah. Really good. Nice, nice uh, looking around, chatting. Uh, obviously, good, good friends. Mm -hmm. uh, beautiful building, and the the, um, the the people here, you know, so welcoming. Absolutely. Know, to, to, yeah. to let us around, even they they let us into parts of the building that aren't open to the public as well, which is absolutely fantastic. You know, really friendly. We're well, going to have our third cup of tea with them now. The lady you yeah, in here. Um, yeah, young lady, probably like 19, 20 ish, who was um, abused by some local young men. It was part of where Even if the families of the soldiers mm -hmm. that were based here, they were in here as well. Mm -hmm. That's what I've taken from a yep. book that's about the place. Mm. And it was families that were here and obviously there were drunk soldiers and other people's wives and things like that so maybe it was that. I don't know. And you said, old, yeah, and you said obviously old, you and Cheryl both picked up separately the 1940s woman up on the yeah. battlement yeah. there. Yeah this is, no this is back. This is, yeah, this is way like back. Long, 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 yeah. Long, 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 long. yeah this is way back. This really has been an amazing place. We're sort of finishing off now. Just a, Interesting place to explore. Interesting, some psychic readings, things tallying up. Although they had never met before, both Mandy and Cheryl seemed to be in tune with what they were sensing, and the uncovering of the brutal beating of the German prisoner was fascinating as well as unnerving. Our investigation of New Tavern Fort was very interesting, and having exclusive access is a privilege when exploring our heritage. We have investigated many forts over the years. There is something about these sites that you can't quite put your finger on and will be great to return sometime. <laughs>